All right guys, so we're back again with another video with Bryce Van Hoosen. I didn't feel like this video fit completely in our other video, but I asked him a little bit about beginner tips for dialing in tone, and he gave me a lot of good responses. So without further ado, here's some tips from Bryce on how to dial in your guitar. Uh, one more question to you is when you dial in an amp, if you have anything to like advice for anyone or using an amp and a pedal or anything like that, what's your thought process and what would you recommend to uh, anyone starting off messing around with pedals and amps and such. Like you probably need less gain than you think that you do. That's number one. And then number two, I would say low end. You probably need less low end than you think. I was just gonna say, I definitely agree. I've met a lot of people who have great, like huge tone in, in a personal setting when it's just them. And then when they sit in a band, it's like someone in their band gets lost because like you said, low end would definitely like omit your bass player from the mix or something like that. Right, yeah. Or if you have a, a bass player with a, you know, kind of like a, a higher sort of dialed in tone, it's probably going to start walking all over you. So you're going to yeah. you're going to get lost between that and the kick drum. So it's, it's a it's a nice tight rope of balance and team. Yeah, <laughs> like team effort. Yeah, you got to find your your sort of uh, carve out your space in the low mids, upper mids kind of kind of territory. So. So aside from less gain, uh, less gain, and a little bit more of a controlled low end, any anything that you would recommend? Anything else? Uh, yeah, and then I mean, for you know, for playing leads, of course, um, the <laughs> the mids are kind of what you want. Uh, I guess taking like a James Hetfield sort of approach, where you're kind of like scooping those mids a lot. Um, I don't think it's gonna translate to a, a, a kind of like a solo situation very well. Depending on the type of player that I've met, I've noticed that each different player has a certain inclination to a certain like setting, especially with their mids. And I feel like with you, like it was, you were kind of grounded in the sense like, oh, with the rhythm, I want to keep it at about lower on the mids. But if I was doing like the high, I'd kind of boost those mids. So yeah. I think that's pretty cool that you understand that philosophy with amps. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, that's where the guitar is uh, as sort of love hate as everybody uh, has mm -hmm. kind of a relationship with the mids. That's that's the instrument. How do you know what is too much and not enough mids? Um, like OK, so too much. If you're if you're getting to like a telephone kind of sounds with the mids, mm -hmm. um, okay. then it's too much. Like you can get to a point where it's not musical, right? You boost the uh -huh. mids, uh, your low end and your your top end kind of suffer for it. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, you're going to cut through a lot, but your band is probably not going to thank you for, for that. <laughs> so. I like that. The telephone. I never thought of it like that. I usually thought, like, does it hurt? Yeah. But the telephone <laughs> sound is, is kind of uh, is, is the best way to describe it, especially to uh, a lot of newer players. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. And I mean, if you've ever like uh, messed around with like an EQ or something and you take that sort of like 8K kind of uh -huh. knob and turn that thing all the way up, that's yeah, you're there. Tele <laughs> telephone territory, which can be cool. That's kind of like the wah thing, but yeah. you know. I hope you guys dug that video. And if you guys like videos where we have influencers, creators, or just guitar players go over how they like to approach their guitar tone, let us know who to work with down below. And if you haven't yet, and if you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up button, ring the bell for notifications, and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to leave that comment down below about who we should be working with next on Fortin Amps. All right, we'll see you on the next one.